Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Higher Side Chats. Today we're here with my stepson Lucas. Say hi. Hi, my name is Lucas. Today I'm going to be doing this science project with a wine glass. A so we have three different experiments he's going to teach us and they're going to involve wine glass which is going to make a lava lamp. We're going to show dry erase dancing on water and then we're going to go give a demonstration on hand washing. Okay Lucas, so we're going to go ahead and do this first experiment which is going to be seeing dry erase marker wash off and dance in water. So we'll zoom in on the plate for you. You can go ahead and draw your circles. All right, you can go ahead and grab the water. So what should happen here, everybody, is once it's got four little circles drawn with regular Expo dry erase marker, on a clear, you can use a dish. We've got a small plate. He's gonna pour some regular water down the corners of it very slowly. And what should happen is those circles should jump off of the plate and move around freely with the water. You can already see some of them coming off of the plate. That's perfect. So now what you'll see is at least two of them have fully washed off. And they're just going to move around with the water. All right, so now we're on to our next experiment. This is going to make a homemade lava lamp. You can use a wine glass. We just have a regular plastic wine glass that we grabbed from Walmart. You can also use regular glass, you can use a bowl, a cup, just something that's big enough for the reaction to happen. But what we're going to do here, hopefully this works a little bit better than the circles. Circles might take a couple attempts, um, seeing that if you pour the water too fast, they might not pull off. Um, however, Expo marker is made so the chemicals will actually pull it off of the glass to where it'll just kind of float on top of the water. This one should make a little bit of a lava lamp. We're going to be using just regular oil. We're going to use Alka-Seltzer tablets. We're going to use water and food coloring just so that it looks a little bit cooler. So we'll go ahead and get everything set up. Lucas has already picked out blue for his color. So we'll go ahead and get some oil set in it. And you want to fill it a decent way up, but still have enough room at the top because there will be a little bit of a foamy residue once it starts having the reaction with the Alka-Seltzer. You can grab some water. We're just using regular extra bottled water that we had laying around. Don't need very much. Just a little bit at the bottom there. And Lucas, if you want to grab your blue, you can put some drops in the top. A couple more drops. That should be perfect right there. All right, awesome. So you can also get a skewer. You can get just anything that's small enough that you can still reach the bottom. You can mix it up. We're actually just going to use a stick that we had laying around in the yard. And now you can see the separation. The water is down at the bottom all nice and blue. We've got the big separation of oil. And now what we're going to do, we have a couple Alka-Seltzer tablets. We'll go ahead and add in there now. We'll let Lucas add those. We're just going to drop a couple straight in the top and then it should go ahead and make the lava lamp. Go ahead, put another one. You put one more. And that should be perfect. You can let that go with this. So you're going to see all of those bubbles getting all the blue food coloring and water go all the way up to the top and sink right back down to the bottom, making your own little homemade lava lamp. You can make these whatever colors you want. If you have more oil, it'll just separate a little bit further. There's your lava lamp. 
This one worked a little better than the circles, didn't it, Lucas? Yeah. Way much better. Why don't you go ahead and put one more little tablet in there? And that'll just keep reacting until the tablets are completely gone. You can do these, like I said, in any color you want. Just a little fun experiment you can do that's not going to cause too much of a mess, as long as you're careful with the food coloring. Obviously, that's going to make a little bit of a mess if you spill it anywhere. But if you're careful with it, this shouldn't cause any mess at all, and it's a cool experiment to do at home on your own or with kids. All right, for our final experiment today, we're just going to give a little bit of information on the importance of using soap when you're washing your hands. So what we're going to do today, we have just regular Dawn dish soap, we've got a bowl of water, and we've got some parsley, but you can use parsley, Italian seasoning, pepper, anything that's really kind of granular that's going to stick to a surface. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get a little bit of the parsley, and we're going to put it in the bowl of water. You want to get a pretty good amount in there. All right. So for this, Lucas, you can go ahead and take off your gloves. Now you don't have to use gloves for any of these experiments. They are not going to be toxic. So what we'll do for this first one, Lucas is going to take one of his fingers and he's going to go ahead and just put it straight down into the middle of the bowl. Go ahead and do that. Kind of spin it around a little bit. Now pull it out. So what you can see, he's got a lot of the parsley flakes all over his fingers. So that's showing what you are doing without any of the dish soap. All right, so you can shake your hand off to the side, but you're going to use your other hand for the next part. Just gonna add a little bit more in there. Get it all mixed in. So we're gonna use this plate for the next section, but we're gonna just put some dish soap on it. Now I want you to go ahead and just kind of get your other hand's fingers completely coated in the soap. And you can use your other hand to mix it around if you need to. Make sure you get the tops too. Get those parsley flakes off. All right, you can stop there. Let's make sure you get the flakes off so you can see the difference. All right, so give it one big shake to the side just to get the excess off, and then go ahead and take one of your fingers, put it all the way down in the middle again. Oh, my fingers. Whatever you want, one or all of them, all the way down in the middle, and pull it back out. Let's try again. Uh, we don't have anything to wash your hand off. Okay, so now we have a little different angle of the bowl, just so you can really see what the soap is going to do once he gets it on his fingers. So he's going ahead and coating his finger now. Get this one. Make sure there's no extra parsley from before on there. Okay, so nice and slow. What you're going to do is put one finger right down in the middle and slowly bring it back out. And the soap's gonna make all that parsley flakes get out of the way. So you can bring your finger back out and it'll be clean. All right, so pull it all the way back out. Got it all clean. Just shows the importance of making sure you use soap when you're washing your hands. All right, Nesco Nation, so those are three fun experiments you can do home with your family. Perfectly fun for kids. Good thing to do inside or outside. Just remember to be careful and be safe. Um, also, I know last week we gave you the opportunity to share any of your Quarant tales, all of your exciting moments through quarantine, so feel free to still keep submitting those to Hireside Chats at nescoresource.com. Other than that, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a good rest of the day. Say bye, Lucas. Well, I, have, I hope you had fun watching our experiment video. You can also try this at home and it's actually really fun.